First, open your Google Maps, then select your icon, and then simply select Offline Maps. Then select Select your own map. Now choose the area you want to download. If you zoom in and zoom out, you can increase or decrease the area. For example, if you want to just download London, you can zoom in into London to just download that area. And you can see the download file size would be 270 megabytes. But if I would increase it, for example, if I want to travel from London to, let's say, Manchester, I have to download this whole area, then the download size becomes 1,245 megabytes. So it's much bigger. But this is another way to download the route between your hometown and the place you want to travel to. For this example, I would just download London. So I will zoom into London again and I will just press on download. And as you can see in here, download is started, download percentage shown in here. You can go and use the map the way you want. So if I go back to the map, you don't need to be worried because the download will continue in the background in here. After your download is completed, you could go up here and select your downloaded map or you could touch your icon again, then select offline maps again, and it shows the map that we have downloaded. You can select these three dots in order to update. For example, after one year, if you want to update, you can come here and update it. You can view, you can delete, or you can rename. So London East, let's say, just as an example, and in here you got some other options too for example if i would select on the gear icon in here if i would turn on auto update offline maps and auto download recommended maps then when i select a route for example from manchester to london it would give me a suggestion to download the route and i think a lot of people in my other video were not getting this suggestion because these two options were turned off. So make sure you turn these two options on so that you will never forget to download an offline map before setting off from your home. That means when you got access to Wi-Fi to download the map and when you're outside, then your Google Maps would use less data because we have already downloaded the map. And if you don't have a Wi-Fi, you could always come here and then change it over Wi-Fi or mobile data. But obviously, if you change it to mobile data, it can be very costly. It can then use up all your mobile data. But if you got unlimited mobile data, then it's not a bad option because downloading a map is not just useful for saving mobile data. It is also useful in areas where you don't have mobile data. For example, if you go to Lake District in UK, there are areas that there is no mobile data. So if you download the map before going, it would help you to navigate even without having internet on your phone. So for now, I leave it the way it is. I cancel, I go back and I go back and I can just continue. It stores the data on your phone.